What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging, and in this video we're going to be comparing the Autel EVO 2 Enterprise and the Autel EVO 2 Series. First let's talk about the similarities between the two. So right off the bat you have the same camera options except for one. So the EVO 2 Series originally came out with the 8K camera, the Pro 6K camera, and the dual thermal imaging camera. Later, they also came out with the 640T, which is also a thermal imaging camera, it just doesn't use a FLIR sensor. So the EVO2 Enterprise has those same options available minus the 8K camera. So you have the Pro 6K, the 640T, and the FLIR dual camera. Next, we have the same controller options. So while I have two different controllers on the table, that's just because of how these drones are bundled. So the Enterprise series comes bundled with the new Autel Smart Controller, and the EVO 2 series usually comes packaged with the standard controller, although the Smart Controller can be purchased separately. The only thing to know with the EVO 2 series is there was a version 1, which is not compatible with the Smart Controller, but all the new EVO 2 series going forward are going to be version 2 and compatible with the Smart Controller. Another really important similarity between the two is that the batteries are identical and completely interchangeable. So that also means that the chargers are interchangeable as well. Another difference you'll notice is the airframes are very similar. So you have the same obstacle avoidance all around 360 degrees. And then lastly, they're controlled using the same Autel Explorer app. Now for the differences. The first thing you probably notice is the attachment on top of the Enterprise Series aircraft. That's because these new Enterprise Series drones have a module attachment port on the top of the aircraft and come with a speaker, spotlight, and beacon, whereas the original has no port um, to power any external devices. Another difference you may have noticed just by looking at the two different drones is that the Enterprise Series actually has longer arms made of carbon fiber as opposed to the shorter arms made of plastic on the original EVO 2 Series. And what this actually does is it directly impacts the performance. So this drone can fly for a couple minutes longer and can handle about five miles per hour stronger winds. Another improvement with the Enterprise series over the original EVO 2 series is that the Enterprise series has a range of eight miles, whereas the EVO 2 series has a range of five miles. Lastly, the Enterprise series has an ADS-B receiver in it, whereas the EVO 2 series does not. And what this allows the drone to do is detect manned aircraft in real time that are close in proximity to the drone, such as helicopters and jets. While this isn't necessarily a difference between the aircraft and their performance, I do want to make mention of how they're bundled. So the Enterprise series comes bundled with the module attachments, a hard case, and most importantly, um, the smart controller, whereas the EVO 2 series comes with the standard controller and you can get it in a hard case with extra batteries, um, but it depends on which bundle you purchase. That's it for this video. If you're interested in the Autel EVO 2 or EVO 2 Enterprise Series, visit the link below or give us a call at 800-359-0530. Thanks for watching.